Hey everybody, Danny Robino here with Windows Central and we're taking a quick look here at some battery saver settings on the Lumia 950 and 950 XL. Of course, this works on all Windows 10 mobile devices, so feel free to follow along if you're just upgrading. Anyway, what we want to do is go to settings and under system, there should be a battery saver section. And you can actually hold and pin this. So I actually have it pinned to start. But if you want, you can uh, pin it to your start screen for quick access. You can do that for all settings, by the way, so consider that a bonus little trick. Anyway, go into Battery Saver. This shows you right now I'm charging. This one is not charging, of course. And uh, what a lot of people don't realize is actually more to this. And I admit, I think Microsoft can do a better job here with uh, discoverability. Anyways, what you want to do is type in, um, hit the Battery Use button there. It's not even a button, but that's kind of the problem. And you see it brings up information here, and you can sort of see my usage. So it says in use is 82%. So I'm using the battery 82% of the time when I have it on. So I'm actually just using it as opposed to background. So I have about 17% background services. That includes email, Twitter, and anything that's going to be doing frequent updates, including store. And you can kind of go through and you can kind of see how this stuff is working. I can like hit Tweetium and go to details. I can see it's uh, Tweetium is only using 1.3% of the background and I actually have it turned off. So allow this app to run in the background, it's disabled. Uh, but there's a few more settings here that you can actually do. Uh, for instance, right here, it is change background app settings. And it's kind of weird. Those are actually buttons, but like I said, I think this is a discoverability issue. Uh, you can actually tap that and you see it takes a second and what's going to do is load up all your apps here and you can see what is allowed to run in the background and this is kind of important because you can actually do you know save some battery life here uh, some apps like amazing weather i do want to run the background because that's going to update my live tile or bring down notifications so that's okay b612 is actually an app for um, doing selfies basically using a camera and so I don't know. I don't need that app to run the background, so I disable it. Now, be careful, of course, when you do this, because maybe it does disable something you're not aware of. So make a mental note of what you're disabling, what you're not. Um, also, sometimes some apps appear a few times, which is kind of a strange bug. Anyways, you'll see things like block filter, um, perfect wallpaper. I actually don't want running the background, so I'm going to disable it. So you can kind of go through here and think of apps that Files and Folders Pro, I don't need running in the background. So there's a few things here that you can go through and disable. Now, it might not actually make uh, an impact on your battery life, but it might, you know, as well, too. So you can basically play around with it. One interesting thing here is Microsoft Edge. So you can see I have it here and I have it disabled. Now, what's interesting about this is we've noticed on a few phones that when you first start up to the 950, 950 XL, this actually is not default. It doesn't show up under these settings for some reason. Uh, and I think it has to be triggered for it to basically come on. So maybe you have to land on a web page that refreshes or something. So you might not actually have Microsoft Edge. It may take you a few days before it does pop up. So check back. If it does, you can disable it. Um, you know, there's been some evidence that Edge runs in the background and can use battery. So you may want to disable that. But just go through your apps here and you can see things that are showing up and disable them. Uh, like I said, I don't know why there are repeat apps here. I think that's either just a bug or something's going on with the apps. But go through, disable some of those, and you can possibly reduce the in use settings and what's running in the background, which is sort of the real important thing here. You do expect in use to be pretty high because obviously you're going to be using the app. But what runs in the background is going to be really key and important. You can also think about things like email, uh, how often you want to check. So you may want to go to to Outlook. Finally, there's a nice app on the store called Battery, uh, and you can see it here. I have it plugged in. I can, it's charging basically. Oh, it's actually fully charged now. But this actually kind of gives you a nice little graph of your usage and discharge rates and statistics and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and of course, you can pin the tile to your live screen. And it's nice and uh, transparent as well. It'll actually show you the percentage left there. Now, it only checks every 30 minutes or so, so it's not uh, you know 100% accurate, but it gives you a rough idea if you just want a quick uh, look at your battery life. But there you go. That's just one of a few tips we'll be bringing you on the Lumia 950 and 950 XL for battery life. Hit to Windows Central for more information. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.